nearly three quarters of the Earth's surface, is covered by water. A vast ecosystem of reefs, open ocean, and uncharted deep. Humans have navigated the seas for centuries, transporting goods, seeking food and recreation, conducting research. Yet humans do not ply these waters alone. The mission of the U.S. Navy Shooting to is to maintain and equip combat-ready forces capable of winning wars, deterring aggression, and maintaining freedom of the seas. Active sonar is the only effective means to detect, track, and target modern subs under all ocean conditions. Sonar is just as important to marine mammals for navigation and finding food. The U.S. Navy is committed to protecting marine life with rigorous research, environmental planning, and leading-edge technology. Federal law requires the Navy to study the environmental impact of its operations and to ensure that other agencies and the public can participate in the environmental planning and permitting process. The National Marine Fisheries Service authorizes the Navy to conduct training and testing activities within certain limits. Those limits are measured in terms of sonar hours or number of explosive ordnance used in any one year. And that's where the modeling comes in. Naval activities that might impact marine mammals are first run through advanced modeling and simulation software. Modeling, in essence, is the ability to be able to represent something mathematically of a phenomenon that you observed. Then you take that model and it has to be integrated into a simulation. They want to make some changes to the scenario that we've been running in the past. The software we've developed is called the Navy Acoustic Effects Model, NEMO for short. It takes the inputs from scenarios that are provided to us by the stakeholders um, and merges that with density data to know where the mammals are distributed, what the sound propagations are, and it comes up with how much impact there is on the various species. Okay, and we have all the data for the new area. NEMO is composed of six modules, each with specific data and complex formulas to simulate real-world conditions in a virtual ocean, complete with naval platforms, marine mammals, and local bathymetry. Scenario Builder compiles the who, what, where, and when of a planned naval exercise. We want to change it and have them at different depths during the scenario. Um, so we'll... In this anti-submarine simulated event, two surface ships and a helo will search for an enemy sub, pinpoint its location with sonar, and sink it. Next, Environment Builder compiles the atmospheric and oceanographic data necessary to track acoustic effects in this location. Marine mammal density data tells the team what animals are likely to be on site any time of year. So we pull data in um, from density sources. These are cruises that are done by National Marine Fisheries Service, private contractors, academic institutions that go out in the environment and look for which marine mammals and sea turtles are out there. Do you have all the mammal files that you need for that? Yep, I have mammals I could use for that. Okay. Acoustic Builder identifies the intensity and duration of sound sources like active sonar and explosive ordnance. Then the simulation is run, accounting for ship and aircraft movement and sonar intensity. Powerful algorithms track events and build a highly detailed virtual world based on real-world data from each module. The model measures and records the doses of sound each marine mammal receives. Finally, the post-processor takes the output from the scenario to measure sound exposure for each species. Over the course of multiple scenarios in different locations, um, we can look at the number of, of potential exposures and determine what kind of impact that could have on the entire population. There's so much information for the viewer and the user to absorb. If we can build a better three-dimensional visualization product, then we'll have the capability and we'll make it much easier for everyone to see what the impact is of their scenarios. Verification and validation are critical to the entire modeling process. First of all, you know, we have to make sure that the software we're running is accurate and there's no mistakes. It's when we put in the right numbers, we're getting the right answers out. The data from the modeling process is provided to the National Marine Fisheries Service, which confirms the Navy is meeting federal regulations. Committed to openness and transparency, 
The Navy also makes the information publicly available on the Federal Register for review and comment online, by mail, and at public meetings. MIMO is complex science to meet a unique challenge. Comply with environmental laws, cooperate with regulatory agencies, and protect marine mammals. The Navy's environmental stewardship is an ongoing journey to build our knowledge base about marine mammal behavior, biology, and acoustic effects worldwide. We can fulfill our mission and safeguard the oceans. Our future depends on it.